Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Greetings from Cozumeli. In today's video, I want to take you through property rentals around the island. So I haven't made one of these videos for a while now. It's time for another one. And uh, keep in mind, it is high season. It's getting towards the end of high season, I believe, here in Samui. It's the end of February. So just want to put another one of these up and show around some property rentals on Facebook Marketplace. This is actually how I found my house where I live in Lamai about two years ago. And it's one of the best ways, I would say, other than like going around and looking at properties on your motorbike or in your car, uh, this is a good way to find property rentals. Now, keep in mind, it is still high season, so the, the prices are quite high at the moment. Um, but we can zoom in here and we can look around the Lamai area. It's not looking like there's too many options to choose from at the moment, which is not all that surprising because, you know, it's very busy here right now. I have a friend who's actually staying at the Spa Garden Resort in Lamai, and they've increased the, the price from like, you know, 15000 a month all the way up to like 30000 a month within the span of a couple weeks. And it was fully booked for quite some time as well. So he had to move to another place and now he's back at the Spa Resort, but looking for a more long-term place to live. This is something that I'm very grateful for. I already have a house. We've been staying here for two years now. We have a long-term contract with the property owner. So this is definitely advantageous if you're planning on staying here long-term. But if you're just looking for a vacation rental for a couple days or weeks, then I recommend going to Facebook Marketplace. So I've now zoomed in on the Lamai area. It's looking like we've only got maybe a dozen options, slightly less to choose from um, in Lamai at the moment. So we can actually filter by category here. Let's say we just want to find apartments for rents or maybe just houses for rent. So I'm just going to select houses for rent. And as you can see, this is pulled up a couple different options. We can also sort by you know number of bedrooms as well. But in this case, I'm just going to take a look at this first option here, which actually says it's in Bangrok. Um, that's the north. It's not in Lamai. I'm looking for options in Lamai. So this one says Lamai, and it says 10,000 baht, which is kind of surprising because uh, it's four bedrooms and three baths, 150 square meters. Um, so I'm assuming they're talking about per night which still seems quite expensive. Uh, 10,000 baht per night is like $300 a night for this place. But it looks really nice, uh, nice and clean, plenty of space, 150 square meters with a pool, beautiful partial sea view from here. You've got palm trees in the field of vision. So this looks like a really nice place. Um, if I want to reach out to the manager or the owner of this place, his name is Joel. So let me just drag my face up here. And we can then just send them a message. Uh, by default, it's in Thai. If I want to type that in English, obviously I can type it in English. But in this case, I'm just going to click send. Just for the hell of it. Uh, while I'm recording this video. And now it's sent him a message that has expressed interest. And then we'll just wait to hear back from him. Uh, this one says it's about 700 meters from Chuang Noi Beach. Close to Coral Cove Beach, which is a nice area. Um, but again, I don't think that's in Lamai. It would be in the Chuang Noi area. So that's not, and as you can see, he's already gotten back to me. So I'm assuming this is like a manager or something doing well. Thanks, right? So then you can just start a conversation with the property owner and go from there. And now he's already started a conversation. Yes, but I have someone who wants to take a look at it soon. Of course, this is not really something that I'm interested in at the moment because I've already got a really nice place here. Beautiful views, uh, not sea view or anything, but I'm not complaining. And it's very affordable, roughly 13,000 baht per month, not per day. So yeah, as you can see, we can just start going through these different options. Uh, a lot of these are not in Lamai. This one's in Bangrok, which is up in the north. This one's in Telangam, which is in the south. Um, I know the island very well at this point because I've lived here for two years. So if you have any questions whatsoever about property rentals, go ahead, drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to help answer any questions you have. And, you know, obviously they have places for sale on here as well. But in this particular case, 
I'm just looking at property rentals. <clears throat> so let's say we have a pretty large budget, 100,000 baht per month, for example. We can come over here and select the price. So let's say I want to find places that have a maximum of 100,000 baht per month. That will narrow down the options. And I can also put a minimum in here, at, let's say 50,000 baht. So that will show us some of the more um, luxury housing options to choose from. This one looks quite nice. Uh, it's in the Telangam area, which is in the south. Beautiful area, not nearly as busy as like in the north or Lamai, for example. And looks like it's a beautiful place. 77,000 baht per month. I wish I could afford that, but unfortunately I can't at the moment. But um, obviously this is a very attractive option, especially if you have a family and maybe you're a couple or something, you want to come over here and just enjoy your vacation for a couple weeks. This could be a really good option. It's got a nice uh, infinity pool, bedroom, looks very clean. So again, if I want to send a message, I actually know this person, Anna at Bond Tropic, then I can just reach out to them. I'm not going to do so now, but it's as quick and easy as sending them a message through Facebook. So <clears throat> if you're looking for property rentals, I highly recommend Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's getting a lot of exposure lately. I think, you know, if you're looking for a place, here's another one in Telangam, 100,000 bots. So that's roughly $3,000 USD per month. And it looks like an absolutely stunning place. Obviously, apparently it seems to have been lived in. I'm assuming they're just renting it out on Airbnb and Facebook Marketplace, maybe some other OTA platforms. So this one has two bedrooms. It looks almost like a condo style unit. If you want to read more about the place, it says minimum rental duration one year. And it requires a deposit of two months plus a security deposit and one month rent in advance. So that's going to be, you know, 300,000 baht right off the bat if you want to rent this place. It's located in the Baput area, which is quite popular. It's in the north. <clears throat> it has a communal pool. Looks almost like an apartment, 159 square meters. Um... So yeah, this could be a good option as well. And obviously, if you want to rent a place long-term, you can potentially get some discounted rates. They usually recommend like three to six months. So this is more so for if you're looking to stay here longer term. <clears throat> you can pull up the location on the map. And I'm getting mixed messages here because it says it's in Baput, but this shows the Telangam area. So I'm guessing that they just added the wrong map location. Uh, but obviously, if I want to reach out to this person, I can click send. And I would actually like to start making tours of some of the, the property rentals around Samui. So this is a good way, way to start a conversation with the owner or manager and then just take it from there. So this guy is also now um, messaging me. I haven't accepted. What dates do you need? And, you know, I could just say I'd like to make a tour of the place tour of the place for my YouTube channel, if you're interested, right? Let's just start the conversation now, right? Because this is something that I want to start doing more for the YouTube channel. But that's beside the point. It's an entirely different subject. Uh, in this video, I just want to be showing property rentals. So let's see what else we have. This is in the Bantai area, which is one of the most beautiful beaches, I would say, on the entire island. Uh, it's in the north, uh, northwest area. So as you can see on the map here, it's kind of northwest or north central. And oops, not sure what happened there. This looks like quite a nice place as well. It has a pool and uh, looks a little bit older style. But, you know, if that's your thing, then this could be a really good option. The rental price is... 65,000 baht per month, two bedrooms, three bath. Now, if you compare that price to, let's say, somewhere in the United States or maybe UK or Australia, any number of other places for a three bedroom or in this case, two bedroom house, that is peanuts compared to, you know, some of the other places like Austin, where I lived for many years in Texas. Um, this is... Yeah, not not all that expensive, especially considering that you're about two minutes from 
one of the most beautiful beaches on the entire island. I think it's a very attractive option. So that could be another one. And, you know, as I'm recording this video, I'm still getting messages from people that I reach out to. They're responding very, very quickly. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a public figure in Samui and they recognize my name or I'm not sure what it is exactly, but um, that's quite encouraging. And, you know, this could be a really good way to start reaching out to people to start doing uh, tours of some of these places as well, which could be quite interesting. This one looks like it's in the Lamai area. As you can see here, it says three bedroom villa from Lamai, swimming pool, living room, kitchen with ceiling fan, land plot, 500 square meters, uh, 90 square meter indoor area, private covered parking. The rent is 75,000 per month, which is not all that expensive, especially considering um, actually, <laughs> the funny thing is, I know somebody who stayed at a, a unit that was very, very similar to this one. We went over to his house a couple times. It might be the exact same unit, in fact. So I know exactly where this place is. And yeah, as you can see, got a nice kitchen area here. This looks like the exact same house that uh, my friend from Austria was staying at for a while. He's now gone back to Austria. Um, but yeah, this place is available for rent. And it's quite nice. Uh, you know, I swam in the pool over here. We, we had a, a nice lunch, beautiful weather, nice pool. This one looks like it might be like the opposite configuration. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, I could definitely recommend this place. And I'm actually just going to reach out to this guy as well, because why the hell not? Let's see if I can start a conversation with this guy, Tim. And yeah, that's three bedrooms, three baths. Um, to 75,000, that's, um, I don't know, like $2,200 per month, quite affordable considering it's a three bedroom house, um, uh, especially compared to somewhere that like the U S and this place is very, very close to my beach. I would say like five minutes by driving. So that could be a really good option. If you want to stay in Lamai. <clears throat> here's another one in Bantai which looks like kind of a, like a traditional Thai house. They've got the um, artwork up here. This one's actually, pictures are by Fazwaz, which is a real estate company in Thailand. Um, kind of a quirky, unique place. 99,000 baht per month for a one bedroom, two bath house seems quite expensive, especially considering it's a little bit older style and it's a funky place. But as you can see, it's right on the beach. The pictures could definitely use some work. Um, should probably reach out to Fazwaz at some point because their pictures could uh, could be quite a bit better. Um, but yeah, so that's another option. Hundred thousand baht per month seems quite expensive though. So we're going to take a look at some other options here. Uh, this one is in Bangkok, which is very very close to the airport, and it's fifty five thousand baht per month. And as you can see. It's got a beautiful sea view from here. Nice outdoor seating area. Opens straight up into the beautiful view. Um, I think this might be the Bay Condominium, if I remember correctly. Uh, it doesn't say the exact name of that. I think this is a condo. Uh, I actually had my eye on one of these earlier during the pandemic. And uh, yeah, this is a quite a nice place. Looks like all modern, brand new facilities, very clean. The pictures look good. So yeah, I would, I would recommend this place, not having actually seen it myself, but judging from the pictures, this is uh, very close to the airport. You've got beautiful sea views from up here. It's 55,000 baht per month for a one bedroom unit. Uh, the bad, the bedroom looks a little small. Not sure why there's like no space to walk in between the bed and the wall, but um, yeah, definitely could be a good option. And that's about $1,500 USD per month for a condo slash flat. Um, you're also very close to the Big Buddha, which is a popular tourist attraction. And yeah, this is the exact same place I was thinking it was. We were actually looking at a place in the middle there, uh, but this one is right next door. And you're also close to the unique residences, which is, I would say, one of the best views on the entire island. I was just up there recently visiting some friends. We had dinner um, and they're actually going back to Italy in at tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Um, 
So they're they're moving out of their place. That could also be a good option if you're looking for a place. That one's about two thousand dollars per month uh, at the unique residences, which is basically just around this hill in the picture here. It's up here. So yeah, that could be a really, really good option and quite affordable considering the views and the location. So plenty of options to choose from. Um, this is basically encircling the entire island. As you can see, it's a 15, 15 kilometer radius around the entire island. Um, so we're basically looking at all the different rental options available across Coast Mui. And again, our budget is 50,000 to 100,000 baht per month. If we want to bring that down, let's say we're on a tighter budget as I am, like let's say maybe 10,000 to 30,000, ooh, not 3 million, 30,000, let's say, you know, uh, 30,000 to 50,000, we can narrow down the options a little bit and take a look at some of these. So now we're looking at, you know, about 900 to $1,500 per month. Here's one for 30,000 baht that looks like it's in disrepair a little bit. Uh, it's quite small, but this is in the uh, looks like Lipanoi area. Not exactly sure, judging from this map. Uh, Lipanoi, yep. Yeah. So this is Lipanoi. It's in the uh, west western side, as you can see from the map here. That's like right in the middle of west. Um, beautiful beach near here. It's a small house. I would say 30000 is a little overpriced for this place, but obviously you can bargain with them and negotiate on the price a little bit, especially if you're renting for like three to six months. This one says prefer long-term rental, which makes sense. Um, and there's the seller, or in this case, renter. She looks familiar. I may have met her before. I'm not sure. She lives in Bangkok. Uh, but again, if I want to start a conversation with this seller slash renter, then I can obviously just send her a quick message and she'll probably get back quickly. So yeah, definitely recommend Facebook Marketplace if you're looking for property rentals in Samui. Obviously, you can do this anywhere, not just Thailand, but wherever the hell you are. If I wanted to search for Italy or Greece or you know Australia, any number of places, then I can usually, you can find property rentals on Facebook Marketplace, unless you're in China or something and the, the website is blocked, but that's beside the point. Um, Here's another one. This is located in the Bantai area. As I mentioned earlier, one of the most beautiful beaches on the whole island. Um, they might have a picture of it here. If they don't, they probably should because it's a really nice place. This one has a backyard, which is kind of nice. It's kind of hard to find houses with backyards. So that's kind of a unique selling point. Um, looks like plenty of space, two bedrooms, two baths. 75 square meters, 45,000 baht per month. And again, it says minimum rental duration, one year, two months security deposit and one month of rent. So you're looking at about, you know, 140,000 baht right off the bat just to reserve the place. Not exactly sure why they require that. You may be able to negotiate with them a little bit. Um, but yeah, that could be a good option as well. <clears throat> and let's see what else we have here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's see, this one right here is 30,000 baht per month. It's in the Telangam area. Also looks familiar. I think I may have driven by this place once or twice before. Of course, this is like a traditional Thai style house. Um, not for everyone. It's probably got snakes or, you know, bugs or something in there. Who knows what? But if you're into that sort of thing, then 30,000 baht per month is quite affordable. And yep, got plenty of options. I'm looking for something a little bit attractive here. This one it keeps popping up. It's 35,000 baht, which is pretty good, especially considering the location. You've got beautiful views of Bangrok from here. You can watch the airplanes fly in uh, over the ocean. And maybe a little bit small and cramped. Um, this is kind of an interesting ceiling setup, that, that, that diagonal ceiling. But the bed looks very comfortable. It looks very clean, um, possibly recently renovated. 
So one bedroom, one bath, Sea View Studio for rent available starting January 5th. So that's this previous month, I'm assuming. And you also want to make sure to look out for the water prices and electricity as well. So we pay at our house about 7.5 baht per unit, which is on the high side. Um, so seven baht per unit is not too bad. And then it's 70 baht per unit for water. Uh, at our house, we only spend about 40 baht per month for water. And that's, it doesn't really fluctuate very much. It's usually about 40 baht, which is roughly a dollar uh, USD for water. 70 baht per unit seems a little pricey, but obviously just make sure not to use gallons of water and you should be fine. And um, I think this person I've actually reached out to previously, but let's say I want to send her another message, possibly make a tour of the place or something, then I can easily do that here. I'm not actually interested in renting a place, but for the purposes of this video, I just want to show you how easy it is to reach out to people on Facebook Marketplace. This could be a really good option. Let's say I want to find Jim. I can pull those up here. Uh, this is one that's in Telangam. Looks pretty decent, I guess. The pictures could definitely be better. But um, yeah, it looks pretty nice for 35,000 baht per month. That's pretty decent. And obviously, it's going to depend on the season as well. So, like I mentioned earlier, um, the season is still high season, kind of, I would say, peak season at the moment, actually. And then March and April are some of the sunniest months of the year. So that's also going to be a very popular time for tours to visit Samilia, which is going to drive up the, the property rental prices. Expect supply and demand. Um, but yeah, so you may want to consider waiting until low season to book a place. And obviously you can do, do your own research uh, for that sort of thing. I'm not exactly sure what the seasons are off the top of my head, but yeah, this one also looks quite nice in a fairly um, little developed area. Here's another one. This is in Bantai. This one's actually available for sale for about 6 million baht. So I think that's like maybe $150,000 USD, uh, which is, Pretty decent considering this is a brand new house, 270 square meters, three bedrooms, three baths, brand new. It's located in the Lamai area, which is actually where I live. And yeah, that's about $160,000 USD. It's freehold, which means that you don't actually own the house, but you, will, well, you own the house, but you don't own the land. This is the Lamai Chuang area. Could be quite interesting and you know, a friend of mine recently was telling me that he expects the the property prices to 2x next year. So if you are interested in buying a house in Samili, you know, the sooner the better. And I'm hoping to be able to afford a place relatively soon. Um, but yeah, 5.9 million baht is relatively affordable for a three bedroom, three and a half bath house in a popular growing area of Samui. So you can also find uh, villas, houses, and condos for sale on here as well. But we're not going to be talking too much about that in this video. I just wanted to show some of the property rentals available. Uh, with that being said, thanks so much for watching. And um, let me know if you have any questions, you're looking for a place for rent, drop a comment down below and uh, be happy to help however I can. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe.